The rain was lovely. Just after my beauty sleep, I thought it was going to get like Gibraltar. My goodness, the heat there before the Levanter came on, <gasps> black as night. With the glare of the rocks standing up in it like a big giant compared with their three rock mountain they think is so great. With the red sentries here and there and the poplars and the all white hot. And the mosquito nets and the smell of the rainwater in those tanks. Watching the sun all the time weltering down on you. Faded all that lovely frock, father's friend. Mrs Stanhope sent me from the Bimash Paris. What a shame. My dearest Dogarina, she wrote on. What? She was very nice. What's this or other name was? Just a PC to tell you I sent the little present. Have just had a jolly warm bath and feel a very clean dog now. <laughs> Enjoyed it. He'd give anything to be back in jib and hear you sing in old Madrid or waiting. Conconi is the name of those exercises. He bought me one of those new, some word I couldn't make out, shawls. Amusing things, but tear for the least thing. Still, I think they're lovely, don't you? We'll always think of the lovely teas we had together. Scrumptious current scones and raspberry wafers I adore. Well now, dearest dog arena, be sure and write soon. Kind, she left out regards, to your father, also Captain Grove. With love, yours, Affley, Hester. X, 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 X. She didn't look a bit married. Just like a girl. He was years older than her. And he was awfully fond of me when he held the wire down with his foot for me to step over at the bullfight at La Linea when that matador Gomez was given the bull's ear. These clothes we have to wear, whoever invented them. Expecting it to walk up Kalini Hill then, for example, all stazed up. You can't do a blessed thing in them in a crowd, run or jump out of the way. That's why I was afraid when that other ferocious old bull began charging the banderieros with their sashes and the two things in their hats. And the brutes of men shouting, bravo, toro, and the women were as bad, in their nice white mantillas, ripping all the whole insides out of those poor horses. Never heard of such thing in all my life. Yes, he used to break his heart at me, taking off the dog barking in Bell Lane. Poor brute, and it's sick. What became of them ever? Well, I suppose they're dead long ago, the two of them. It's like all through a mist. Makes you feel so old. I made the scones, of course. I had everything, all to myself. And then a girl, Hester. We used to compare our hair. Mine was thicker than hers. She showed me how to settle it at the back when I put it up and what's this else? How to make a knot on a thread with the one hand. We were like cousins. What age was I then? The night of the storm, I slept in her bed. She had her arms round me. Then we were fighting in the morning with the pillow. <laughs> what fun. He was watching me whenever he got an opportunity. At the band on the Alameda Esplanade, when I was with father and Captain Grove, I looked up at the church first, then at the windows, then down, and our eyes met. And I felt something go through me like all needles. My eyes were dancing. I remember afterwards I looked at myself in the glass, hardly recognised myself. The change. I had a splendid skin from the sun and the excitement, like a rose. I didn't get a wink of sleep. It wouldn't have been nice on account of her. Well, I could have stopped it in time. She gave me the Moonstone to read. That was the first I'd read of Wilkie Collins. East Lynn I read, and The Shadow of Ashley Yat, Mrs Henry Wood. Henry Dunbar by that other woman. I lent him afterwards with a photo of Mulvey in it, so as he'd see I wasn't without. Lord Lytton, Eugene Aram. Molly Bond she gave me by Mrs Hungerford, on account of the name. I don't like books with a molly in them. <laughs>